Hi, I'm Annette Pasternak, and this is a quick look inside the Freedom Companion, the new journal that I've just published. So um, here, every page is kind of like this. The only difference between the pages is there's a different inspiring quote here to start. You write the date, and then a couple of things you could do in the morning to kind of set the tone in the morning or you can do the whole thing at night if you prefer but i would do in the morning i would write something i'm grateful for it kind of sets the tone for the day for you to be focusing on the positive on the uplifting things because frankly when you're in a better mood, I think you can relate to that you do better actions and that you, you're less likely to go into uh, large amounts of picking, which you would do more if you're in more negative moods. So the gratitude works great for that and so does the affirmation. So affirmation is saying something positive that's not quite true yet about yourself or you don't quite feel it. And just writing that down and possibly, you know, saying it, repeating it throughout the day can be a really positive thing and uplift you and just um, keep you focused on what you want. So whether it's I'm a calm and focused person, whether it's I have clear and beautiful skin, whatever you want. So those are some things that you could do in the morning. And then in the evening, you're going to just quickly jot down, you're going to review your day and jot down how was your mood on a zero to 10 scale? How was your calmness? You know, were you very calm or were you totally anxious or somewhere in between? And how was your energy level? How energetic were you? And how was your picking? Because a lot of times these are related and we want to learn from them and we want to learn what affects them in positive and negative ways. And then there's what I like to call the positive log in my other book, my Skin Picking the Freedom to Finally Stop. This makes positive logging so much easier and more effective and more fun. And uh, so that's the real biggest purpose of the Freedom Companion is this positive log. So this part with the checklist, you're basically writing down the things that you did that day that you can expect to have a positive influence on yourself and on your picking. So right away, you know, every day you get to check off that you did the positive log, okay? So good for you, you get to check that off. Then there's some other things we've got. I mean, I can, I don't wanna read them all, but 480 breathing, mindful check-ins, covering the mirror, dim lighting, wearing bandages or gloves, or keeping your hands busy. So these are all examples of tools that you can use that have the effect of decreasing your picking when you're using them strategically in the times and places that you know you would learn either through therapy or by using my book that are danger times and places for you and situations. And then, you know, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that have effects on you that are positive actions that you would take. And not that you're going to do all of these every day, certainly not, but this gives you the opportunity to look back and say what you've done and it gives you the opportunity to focus on the positive actions you're taking, which is really important because it's kind of depressing just focusing on the picking all the time. We want to keep track of that up here, but we don't want to keep you obsessed with it or you know you want to be happy about the positive actions that you're taking and trust that they do decrease your picking over time um okay and then here's a little thing i call the vice box keeping track of three food ingredients that frequently um affect your picking and affect anxiety and mood and things like that energy level so sugar caffeine and alcohol so you can record whether you've had any of those or not and then the last part of the Freedom Companion is what you learned that day. So looking back at like, okay, what did you do? And how did that affect these things? How did that affect the picking? Or anything else you feel like you learned that day that you want to record? It doesn't have to come from here. It can be something you notice during the day. But that's about it. And, you know, it's basically a few months of just this same page, but with different quotes. And there's a... Um, can't remember how many pages, five to seven 
let's say, page introduction that's really explaining a lot more about how and why to use this and uh, a little bit more details than I've talked about now.